Hello and welcome to News Click. Today we are joined by Sitara Mitchell, the General Secretary of the CPIM, whose name has been dragged into the ever-expanding probe into the Delhi riots. And his name, along with that of other prominent academics and activists such as Jayati Ghosh, Yogendra Yadav, has been is now in the statements by students and activists who were arrested as part of this probe. And the statements seem to say that uh, Yachuri, along with the others, uh, created discontent. So we're here to talk with him about it. So first of all, I wanted to ask you, what is your response to this? And what do you think is the logic of the Delhi police in making these kind of allegations and these kind of statements? Well, honestly, you can't see any logic. There's no logic in this at all. Now, we'll have to wait and see how they're going to establish this link between peaceful protests against the CAA and RCNPR with what, uh, what they call Delhi riots, but it was actually Delhi communal violence. Now, in that communal violence, 56 of 53 people officially died. Now, who's responsible for that? Any charge sheets? If you're investigating that, then that ought to have been your first uh, priority, nothing right. of that sort. Then before this uh, violence took place, there were these hate speeches, incendiary hate speeches by a union uh, cabinet minister, by a Delhi BJP leader. And according to that timetable announced by them, this violence began. Any charge sheet on that hate speeches? None. So what is the police investigating? And that is where the entire the, the political uh, conspiracy aspect comes in. The police is acting directly under directions from the Union Home Ministry. And there's a political motivation to this. It is not really the question of delivering justice, establishing the truth, but to actually axe their political grind. So this is, this is what it appears from this very clearly. And also, I mean, when they say that, no, no, he's not been charged, cheated, I mean, the defense that they're giving. Right. Now, the question is, how did this thing come into the public domain? How did this thing appear? And this is the methodology they, 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 and they apply everywhere. Names appear in somebody else's uh, I mean, statement, so, so claimed or fabricated, whatever it is. And on that basis, they procure orders for, uh, you know, framing charges. And then they frame. And then people are arrested under UAPA, etc. This is the way that Bhima Kore Gaon thing proceeded. This is the way the other uh, things are happening. So, I mean, this is a clear cut. It's a political issue. It is a state-sponsored political maneuver, manipulation, a conspiracy, if, if, if it so be. So that is what it is. So, I mean, that, that, that is not going to stop us from exercising our right to peacefully protest on what we think are violations for the constitution. And it's not only my right, it's my duty to protect the Indian constitution. And that is something we'll do. And that's why I keep reminding them, they should learn that I belong to that generation that fought the emergency. We re-established democracy in the country because of which they are also in government. And, and therefore, you understand, we fought that, we'll fight this also. Right. So in this context, uh, you mentioned, of course, the Elgar Parishad case. But uh, specifically with reference to the Delhi riots, it's clear over the past few months that, like you said, it's entirely been about the anti-CA and NRC protests and nothing to do about the violence. So is this the government trying to send out a message to the people at large that, uh, you know, if you protest this guy, is it like, it, it has a whole investigation become a way to threaten uh, free speech and protests? Yes. Of course, this is their way of trying to intimidate. That's what they're doing. Any dissent against this government is tantamount to their description of being anti-national and therefore the most draconian of measures like the UAPA, the NSA, the Sedition Act, they're all invoked. That is curbing of dissent. This is an outright large-scale authoritarian assault. And this assault is being mounted against Indian democracy and against the Indian constitution itself. Right. And that is something that is just not acceptable. So another key question that has come out is that uh, what is the uh, logic of this probe and these kind of investigations also at a time when the country is going through one of its greatest crises ever. We are seeing the COVID-19 numbers, of course, which are mounting day by day. Every day is a new record. We are seeing the economic crisis and we are seeing, of course, border tensions as well. But everything else is put aside. And as far as the Delhi police is concerned, this seems to be the single. And the Home Ministry is obviously spending a lot of time on this as well. 
that is i mean it resoundingly vindicates my understanding that the instead of the single minded focus in combating this pandemic providing relief to the people and tackling this economic crisis and the other problems in the country they are single mindedly focused on implementing their hardcore hindutva communal agenda and that is what is happening all across and that is inclusive of your uh, I mean, reforms for the loot of your national wealth privatization anti labor laws you know everything i mean the the large scale loot that is taking place and along with that this, this sort of targeting of the minorities deepening communal polarization and all this is is their actual purpose they are redefining the political narrative in the country and that is changing the character of the indian republic undermining this constitution and in its place they want to establish their fascistic order that is the rss objective right from the, their birth and that is what is unfolding so to help with people sufferings to help with the covid pandemic that is not of their concern their agenda they are pursuing of transforming india N not as a secular democratic republic but replace it with their conception of their hindutva rashtra so that is that is their primary concern and th all this is very obvious and, and finally with respect to the probe itself we just want to quickly ask uh, what what have what can or what what are the demands that are being made so that a fair probe can be done into the rights itself no first of all let us see this basis on which they are making this linkage between the rtca protest and the uh, this at uh, thing no at the present stage what is the demand demand is if you want an independent probe to be done independent agencies have done lot of investigation a lot of investigation and lot of material is available in fact pinpointedly who are the people involved i mean who are the people who who actually were motivated them who gave these hate speeches everything is documented it's all there in in video recording so if you are really interested in do it follow follow all that uh, evidence but but as i said that is not their objective right. that is not their objective therefore we know uh, what what they are aiming at and and this is and that is one something i want to make it very clear that is something the indian people never have taken it lying down if you want to destroy a constitution that will not be allowed thank you so much for speaking to us sir welcome that's all we have time for today keep watching news Thank you.